afternoon, I'm Mara Skip. I'll come forward and here are the top five stories buzzing online right now. Coming in at number five, this may just be the best thing since sliced bread. Tough guy Sylvester Stallone is getting in touch with his domestic side, hilariously appearing in a British commercial for Warburton's Bakery. Let's take a look. Toasty loaves, whole meal, ah! and snappy one-liners. Time to earn my crust. When it comes to delivering fresh bread on time, the oven gloves are off. The hardcore bread deliverer channels his inner Rocky Balboa with slogans like, it's bake or break time, and it's time to earn my crust, as Sly effortlessly runs over the tops of cars with all the baked goods in hand. He must be warming up for the upcoming Rocky spinoff called Creed, which he just revealed a first look at on his Instagram. The pic of Sly training with actor Michael B. Jordan is trending on Facebook. Can't wait for that one. Coming in at number four, it's a love story, baby. Just say yes. That's exactly what Ed Sheeran is saying about his tour mate and his pal, Taylor Swift's new romance. Sheeran was speaking to iHeartRadio's ZM station when someone asked what he thinks of T-Swift's rumored new man, Calvin Harris. And no need for Taylor to shake it off. Sheeran saying the new guy gets his stamp of approval. Certain people that are just nice people in the industry. Um, so yeah, he, he, I met him probably like a year ago, maybe a year and a half. Yeah, good guy, really, really good guy. How did um, he so if Taylor does in fact have a blank space, at least she knows her buddy Ed Sheeran approves of the new boo. We love that. Coming in at number three, the Avengers might have superhero skills, but do they have smarts? Jimmy Kimmel put the cast to the test with a unique edition of Family Feud. Check out their marvelous answer when asked to name something you do at a movie theater other than watching the movie. All you need is one correct answer. Gotta be clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mike out. Well, there you go. Team America is made up of Chris Evans, Jeremy Renner, and Mark Ruffalo put up a heroic fight. But it was Team Mans with Chris Hemsworth, Scarlett Johansson, and Robert Downey Jr. They took home the prize, a Marvel-themed tandem bicycle. We'd love to see the Avengers assemble on that bike. Coming in at number two, Blake Lively is one really busy woman with a new movie coming out, her own lifestyle company, and of course, being a wife and new mom. While speaking to Allure magazine, the star admitted that breastfeeding her baby girl, James, has become like a full-time job, all on its own. I hear you, girlfriend. She joked, quote, I'm like driving down the road pumping. Now that's multitasking. The star also revealed her thoughts on having it all, saying she prefers to look at the big picture and that to her it means, quote, not letting anyone tell me no but myself. Amen to that. And at number one, a little boy who's extremely unhappy about Hillary running for president. This is Zeke. He is devastated by the news, but not because he doesn't like Hillary. It's because he wanted to run for president. Take a look. I wanted to run for president. <laughs> Instead of Hillary? Mm -hmm. I, wanted, I wanted to run for president. Well, Zeke, there's still time. Well, when his mom asked what he would do if he was president, his answer was simply play and do toys. That sounds like a good campaign strategy to me. Can you imagine how upset he must be now that Marco Rubio is also in the game? Okay. Well, be sure to tune into GMA for more pop news tomorrow. I'm Mara Campo for ABC News in New York. Have a great day.